If you're sick of being single, then listen up because this video is going to help you shift that mindset and shift your feeling of being so frustrated in being single and help you get to the next level so that you can really attract someone high quality. So let's dive right in. All right, so the feeling of being sick of being single is a contraction, right? It is a feeling of lack, you're pissed off, you're angry, you're fed up, and this is the place that we make the worst decisions in. So, okay, you might say, thanks, thanks for the video. Helpful, Barbara, click and turn me off. But hang on one second, because this is true, right? When we make decisions based out of fear, lack, anger, frustration, despair, they're usually not the right decisions. So, okay, fair enough. What can you do then? Well, focus actually away from the fact that you're single and start focusing on doing things that you love to do. Now, I'm not talking about working. I love to work, but it doesn't fill your soul in the way that you want it to in order to feel really um, full and taken care of. Now, yes, my work fulfills me as well, but when you're just working and you're just focusing on um, building your career and making money, it is actually a very masculine way of living and a very driven uh, mindset that you are embodying. This works when it comes to success, but it doesn't work when it comes to personal development, relationships, inner healing, self-love, and all of that. So what should you do or what can you do? Well, what you get to do is you get to focus on increasing your general vibration. When you're in a vibration of being fed up, being in lack, and all of those things that we mentioned before, you're in a very low vibration. Despair especially. Shame is actually the lowest vibration possible. So when you're feeling ashamed of being single all this time or your family is shaming you over the holidays that you're still single or you're ashamed feeling ashamed and despair that you keep having divorces and you can't seem to get a long-term relationship off the ground or keep one for that matter then you know you're really in a low place instead of getting fed up and throwing in the towel do this raise your vibration now, that's an easy thing to just declare, but how, right? You probably want to know how. How you raise your vibration is you do what it takes to feel good. What a concept, right? Yeah, but what happens is we get so wrapped up in our work and in doing what's needed and obligations and shoulding all over ourselves, right? All the shoulds of our lives that we forget to feel good. And when we forget to feel good, we are not in our best self. We are not in our most vibrant self. So feeling good is actually the number one priority to attracting a relationship. So instead of focusing on what you don't have, instead of focusing on, shoot, I am so sick of being single, or then, with you know most A type personality, which you may or may not be, but I certainly have been, and it's my default for sure. I would then be like, okay, I'm so sick of being single. I'm gonna go and like date so hard, you know, date so many people, and just go for it and get this relationship. Well, that often doesn't work either. If you're coming from that place of being pissed off about being single, is this making sense? So get your totally get your focus off of being single and off of dating and just start focusing on yourself and even dating yourself and nourishing yourself with fun. When was the last time you really had fun for no reason? For no reason. Fun for you. Fun that cost money. Gasp! You know, fun that felt good, fun for no reason. It wasn't your birthday. It wasn't some celebratory fun that you were allowed to have, a vacation that you 
didn't have to wait five years to do, do it now, okay? So start having more fun in your life. You've probably been way too serious and focusing on what's not working for way too long. Try it out. You know, it's the beginning of a new year. Try out having more fun and allowing yourself to do things for literally no reason. So self-care for no reason, getting a massage even when you're not sore, going on vacation even though you've just been on one maybe, or even though you haven't earned it by working so many hours or weeks first, right? Go out to dinner at a place that you love instead of looking at your money and thinking, oh, I shouldn't eat yummy food, I should make it always at home. Live a little, loosen up, enjoy, and you will see and stop focusing on being single and hating it and stop focusing on dating and getting a man and start to focus on queening yourself, raising your vibration to feeling amazing and having fun and having a full, delicious, juicy life. And then revisit the dating game and you'll see how much it will shift your dating trajectory. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button so that you get notified with any new video that I come out with, which is twice a week, amazing content so you don't miss out. And hit me up on Instagram at Barbara.Santon. I will see you in the next video.